Hey everybody, this is Dan from Mechanical Malarkey. Today I'm going to show you how to remove and reinstall the front door latch on a 2005 to 2010 Honda Odyssey. To remove the front door latch, you'll need a Phillips number 2 screwdriver, a small pocket screwdriver or pick, a plastic trim tool, a 10 millimeter socket, and an impact driver with a Phillips number 3 bit. Other tools that may be useful are a long flathead screwdriver and a prying tool like this. To remove the door panel, there are four screws and then a bunch of clips around the trim. First, remove this trim piece, stick a trim tool between the trim and the door, and pop it off. Next, remove the trim inside the door handle by prying up on this tab with a small screwdriver and pulling the trim out. Then remove the two screws. The next screw is underneath the window switch. To find the gap, you can stick a pry tool in and start pulling up on the switch. And then unplug it. There are two wiring connectors. and take out the screw. Then the last screw is right under the armrest handle. Now to remove the door panel, you need to release the clips all around the sides and then slide the whole thing up. There should be a gap underneath. You can probably get your fingers or some other kind of pry tool in. If there's not, find other places to stick it in, pry it out a bit. So got this all loose, now just move up. Once you have the door panel released, there are a few things to disconnect. There's one wiring connector here. And then the interior handle cable. Disconnect the end from the handle and then take it off the bracket. Now we need to get in here to access the actual door latch, so we need to peel back this cover. First pop out this rubber grommet here, and start carefully peeling this back. The adhesive should come off fairly easily, especially with how old this is. And that's about as much as we need to take off. Hmm. We're going to need to at least partially remove the window run channel to get to the latch, because it runs right about here. There's a bolt right here. And then with that bolt out, just reach in and pull the run channel straight down and take it out. It'll be a little hard to see some of what I'm doing inside the door here, but I'll do my best to show you what you have to do. There are two wiring connectors for the latch. Release them by pushing down and pulling. The door handle is connected with this rod here. So first you need to swing that white clip off of it and then pull the rod out of the handle. Through this hole, you can see the lock cylinder rod. You need to remove that as well. Now we need to release the inside handle cable. There's this clip here. You do squeeze on the back side of it to release it. and then pull the cable through the plastic cover. Then there are two screws for the inner lock handle. Now it's time to unbolt the actual latch. There are these three Phillips number three bolts. 
and you will need an impact driver. These are not going to come out by hand. And the trick to make sure you don't strip them out is to first give them an impact to the Titan side and then loosen them. So first a little tighten, then loosen. Tighten and loosen. Now to remove the entire latch, you have to get the interior lock cable down through this hole and then the entire thing can come out here. Pretty tight in there, just wiggle it around until it starts moving down. And pull it out. Now I'll show you how to disassemble the latch assembly. Usually these don't come with all of the parts attached, like all the cables and rods. In my case, I'm actually just replacing the inner handle cable. I'll show you how to take off the covers and see what's inside there. So there's a couple screws for this cover. And that gives us access to the inner lock cable and the door latch cable. But we need to take off this back side so we can actually take the cable out. Here on the other side, push this tab in and that should release this cover. If you have to remove the outer handle rod, just squeeze down on this middle part and up on the rest of it with a pair of pliers and that'll pop off. The outer lock rod you can swing out of here and then maneuver it out of its hole. The interior lock cable is actually inside of all this so you might have to take the latch off of the actuator which would be a screw there and a screw there. Not sure what exactly the parts availability is on these. It might be the entire assembly with the latch and the actuator together. That would be the easier route to go. And then last, this is the piece that I'm taking off, the interior handle. So we need to release it from the cable holder and then off of the bracket. So you can see here it has this holder just like the other end of the cable and the outer handle rods. Just pop this off. Pull the cable out of there and then remove it from the bracket. I have my new handle cable. Snap it into here. Put the cable into the hole. And snap the holder on. You notice there's this foam wrapped around here on the old one. That is where the case comes around it. And I don't have this exact thing, but I do have some adhesive home weather stripping that should do the part. It's not perfect, but it just wants a little foam around there so it's not rubbing on things. Now I put the covers back on.
Now to put it back in the car. Now to put the latch in is the exact opposite of taking it out. Make sure you get the lock rod on the far side of this bracket because you'll not be able to push it over there once the entire latch is bolted in. So push it over there as you're putting the whole thing up. Put in the three bolts on the outside. You want them to be tight but don't hit them too hard because they're not that big. Don't forget the two screws up here. The smaller one goes at the top. Put the outer lock rod in its hole. And clip it on. Then get the outer handle stuck in its hole and clipped on. Plug the two wiring connectors in. Then take your inner cable, feed it through the slit in the cover, and clip it onto the door. Now this is a very important step. Check that the latch will release before you close the door. So before I've even put the panel on, take a screwdriver, latch it, and then pull the handle, and it should unlatch. Because the last thing you want to do is close the door with everything put together and not be able to open it, because then it's a giant pain to get in there again. You usually can't remove the inner panel without the door being open, unless you break things. So now that I know that it works, time to put the panel on. Don't forget to put the window run channel back in, or you'll have a nasty surprise when you try to lower the window. Slide it up in there. Slide it up into the upper portion of the channel. And bolt it in. Now put the cover back up. And since it's pretty old, the adhesive isn't going to stick that great. But it's still better than nothing. Now to put the panel back on. Clip the cable into the handle. And then the cable into the bracket. And reconnect the wire. With the handle cable and wire connected on the back side, make sure the window harness comes through the hole, both connectors, and then slide the trim panel onto the door from the top and make sure the lock comes through the hole. And then just knock all the clips into place. Then put the screws back in. Plug in and install the window switch. Put in the inner handle cover. And the trim piece at the front. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media on Facebook and Instagram and read the blog at mechanicalmalarkey.com. Thanks for watching.